Hi, this is Toe the Edoweather here and I'm just driving out I'm just actually shooting over to St Luke's and I want to take this opportunity to talk to you as a parent of uh, children who come to me for guitar lessons and I want to talk to you today about homework and study so I had a question from one parent who said you know shouldn't my boy be practicing guitar every night his sister practices her oboe every night and she goes why should I practice if he ain't going to practice his guitar hey very very fair question so that raised the and I was very glad he brought that up because it does raise the, the question of homework guitar homework guitar pleasure how to fit guitar homework in um, when your child is at home and also how much of the guitar lesson should be taken up with homework because we can go from one extreme to the other we can um, have a guitar lesson that doesn't refer to any homework at all or we can have guitar lessons that spend the time going over the homework that your child did during the week and um, ideally that's the ideal guitar lesson because they're doing most of their learning when they're actually doing the learning themselves rather than listening to something that I might say and which reminds me of a bit of research that I read about recently and I can't remember the exact details but the question was really how do you remember Oops, that's not bad there. How do you remember like 97% of what you learn? And um, so I can't remember the exact numbers, but if you sat in a lecture, you remember something like 7%, 10% or something. Uh, if you wrote, took notes on a lecture, you remember something like 15, 20%. And went up this, up this um, um, hierarchy until you got to the the top of the hierarchy was going away and teaching somebody else how to do it was the best way to remember all the um, you know, best way to remember your guitar lesson or whatever lesson you were learning and um, so it was just underlines the fact that you know you learn the most when you're actually doing it yourself or teaching somebody how to do it and that's the main value of homework time between the lessons. The actual lesson is about what to do um, and during the lesson you, if you've got a 30 minute lesson you've got time to show um, you know, a particular skill or a particular requirement once and then lesson's over. Um, and then you still got to build in time in that lesson for dealing with homework and other things like that. But the main point being is that the lesson can only show something once or twice and then it's really the practice time, the learning time, the training time between lessons where the real learning takes place. So, <clears throat> you know, that's the ideal is coming from a lesson where we spend all our time going over what they have been learning and working on the, the previous week. So just to summarise that point, you can have two kinds of lessons, ones that uh, deal just with guitar lessons, sorry, one is just lesson, totally lesson focused, and the other one, at the other extreme, which is totally homework focused. So my job is to kind of navigate between those two extremes, and the thing that's guiding me the most really is the interest of your child and the ability of your child to do some work between lessons. Now I'll just talk a little bit about setting homework. Setting homework is, well it's quite an art and I mean I, I still have to keep learning it and as parents we, we keep learning it. The trick is finding the, the level, some the easiest child to teach, or the easiest child to give homework for, is the one who's used to highly structured stuff. 
and the highly structured child will just go marching down the list and take the stuff off, stuff off as they do it. That's one extreme, one end of the spectrum. And, you know, I get one of those children a year, maybe more like one every two years, and who will sit down, just one highly structured boy will sit down and go through it. And that child likes to work like that. And then I see most children, you can give them some homework. Bear in mind, it's taken them a year, 18 months, or a particular assignment, or trying a number of approaches um, to get to that point. Um, and so that's just the things that are going on, you know, between the student and the teacher. And then, of course, you've got to factor in all the other things that are happening to the family 
and happening between the family and happening at school and soccer and rugby and choir and homework, school homework, swimming and all these other things that are part of your child's life. So I just wanted to, so I arrived at St Luke's here and I better go in and do my little bit of business and I just wanted to raise this particular topic here and um, on the way drive back I'll talk about the next part of this homework story. So the purpose of this video is, is really just to converse with you and discuss with you some of the issues about homework, guitar homework for children having guitar lessons with me. Tony Edoeta, guitar teacher, Grade Lynn. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.